Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to make a DC-DC converter using a SC3525 based PDM control module. And uh, this have a LM358 controller IC to control the overheating and uh, also the low input voltage protection. So here uh, this is the voltage and uh, frequency controlling potentiometers. So after this here uh, I am using a transformer. So this is uh, I have used uh, in the flyback mode. So that's why I am making a air gap between the codes. And the calculation of this transformer uh, I have uh, made through the formula which is uh, provided in the description. So here uh, for the switching of this uh, converter I am using uh, IR objective 44 and channel MOSFET. And uh, here I have a BY28 E200 it's a 200 volt 28 ampere socket diode for uh, converting the high frequency ac into a smooth dc and uh, this is a very important component for this converter and after this here i have uh, used 200 volt 330 microfarad capacitor for the smooth dc output filtration so let's connect the module with the mosfet uh, for connecting the gate pins and uh, source pin of the MOSFET to the driver module and also make sure connect the 12 volt power supply to the transformer and uh, driver module now after this uh, we have to connect the MOSFET drain pin with the primary side of the transformer so the primary side of this uh, DC DC converter is uh, done. Now we have to connect the diode and uh, capacitor at the secondary side so that uh, we can take uh, the output and uh, convert the high DC from uh, high frequency AC signal from the transformer. So the side pin of the diode will be connected to the transformer pole and also the capacitor negative terminal will be connected at the transformer second pin of the secondary side and uh, this is the feedback jumper i have uh, connecting in the feedback input of the polymer module so the basic circuit of this uh, dc dc converter is ready and uh, i have also attaching the 10 kilo ohm uh, ntc for the over uh, temperature protection of this uh, converter so that uh, you can also use uh, thermal paste for uh, better uh, performance and uh, on the multimeter you can see the input voltage i have uh, using is 13 volts so the now i am connecting the multimeter at the output to see the output voltage from this uh, converter so this converter have a very high range from 2.2 volts to 80 volts maximum with the input range of uh, 12 volt to 24 volts now let's see here in the multimeter at the output you can see the voltage uh, 50.8 volts and uh, with the input uh, voltage and current of uh, 13 volts and uh, just 330 milliamperes of current in the input for boosting uh, from 12 volts to 80 volts or above so that's the very efficient in this case now you can see the output can be up to 100 volts but uh, in this case I have uh, going just uh, 82 volts and uh, you can see in the input side it's uh, still 13 volts. Now you can see I am uh, tricking the input voltage to test uh, at uh, which voltage the converter will work at uh, minimum voltage level. So I have haven't uh, calibrated the low voltage cutoff protection for the video module. So I have uh, just testing the SG3525 IC minimum voltage working, and uh, that's uh, 8.5 volt is the minimum uh, working voltage of SG3525. So here, uh, as uh, when I increase the voltage, we have to again reset, uh, press the reset switch to activate the PWM controller module now here I am also increasing the input voltage as you can see the voltage at 25 volts 0.8 so the voltage range of this module can be varying from 9 volts to up to 25 volts as an input 
so it's uh, working fine and uh, now let's see the regulation of the output voltage now i am decreasing the voltage from 82 volts to below and uh, it can be gauge below as uh, 2.5 or uh, 3 volts so uh, this voltage is uh, also very useful for testing uh, leds like uh, uh, with a ranging from 2.4 volts up to 80 or 100 volt dc so you can s use this as a mini inverter for uh, low voltage like 110 volt uh, inverter system so the minimum is uh, 2.4 volts now let's see the input voltage when i increase the input voltage so the output is, is still stable at uh, 2.4 volts that's a uh, still very good performance so at uh, this moment i have uh, connecting the 100 watt bulb at the output and the voltage i have set at uh, 86 point uh, something volts and uh, input side it's 12.5 uh, volt at uh, 2.5 amperes now it's uh, working perfect but uh, in my case uh, the efficiency is not very good as uh, a dc dc converter need to have so the this circuit also have a disadvantage because the efficiency is not uh, great as you can see the dc motor which i have connected at the output now the bolt is uh, like 20 bolts or something but uh, still in the input side it's consuming lot current so that's not efficient in this case so in the next uh, video i will fix all the efficiency related problems and uh, also the transformer uh, making so the files and uh, circuit diagram of uh, this dc dc converter is will be provided in the description so if you have any doubt uh, regarding this uh, circuit you can also ask your doubt in the comments and uh, also watch my previous video of uh, making of this uh, as if true 5 based uh, pillow control module which have a uh, very unique features of uh, having overheating protection and uh, frequency controlling and uh, also have a uh, low battery cutoff protection so this is the today's video of uh, the dc dc converter based on uh, sg 3525 ic so thanks for watching and uh, also share your uh, opinion in the comment and also subscribe to my channel thank you